Hi, Pisces here with the general reading for anyone with Pisces strongly in their chart. Um, Pisces, is, again, is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone, but hopefully there's something here uh, for you to take with you in your journey forward. All right, Pisces, let's get started. What's happening now with Pisces energy? What is happening now with Pisces energy? What is happening now with Pisces energy, please? What's happening now for this group of Pisces? happening now for this group of Pisces. We have temperance. Four of wands. One more energy, please. One more energy in the seven of wands. All right. And let's um, please bring us guidance for the incoming wave of energy. We're looking at the next seven to 10 days, Pisces, but it could go a month. We all know that time is fluid and we're all moving at different speeds. Guidance for the upcoming wave of energy, please. Guidance for the upcoming wave of energy. Guidance for the upcoming wave of energy. Knight of Swords. All right, what's happening next for Pisces? What's happening next for Pisces? What's happening next for Pisces, please? What's happening next for Pisces? Pa uh, Page of Swords is here. What's happening next for Pisces? Six of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Jeez, a lot of energies here. Ooh. And it's full of emotion, too. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to move a little faster through these readings, Pisces. These are supposed to be shorter readings, but... Um, this is a group of you who could are very adept at, you guys are, can express yourself, and that's what the energy is here. Um, you're learning how to express yourself. You're currently expressing yourself, okay? You're currently creating boundaries for yourself. That's why I have such a huge, like, there's no flippers here. They're all coming out, and so, woo! Okay. Yeah, look, at we have the judgment energy ne next to the death energy, so... Okay, um, and it's it's very powerful energy. Pisces is a different kind of an energy. It almost feels like Sagittarius energy to me, this this next, even the current energy that you're in. You're in a very fast-moving energy, Pisces, and it's, it's a Sagittarius energy. Um, it's an energy of creation. It's an energy, <sighs> I was in this with Capricorn, but it felt completely different with Capricorn. Capricorn's reading was a deep, dense reading. Your reading is... Um, it's a fast moving energy, but you're doing it with a lot of grace. You're doing it with a lot of kindness. Um, you're currently creating boundaries in your life and it has to do with a home life. It has to do with a, a deep connection you have with another person. This could be in a, in a, in a romantic relationship. It could be with a family. It could also be a with a work situation or with a community situation. Doesn't have it's a, it's a four of wands energy for some of you that will mean eleven eleven. For others of you, this is um, a, a new commitment, um, a foundation that you have, um, some kind of four walls that are around you. Either the four walls that you have around you at work or the four walls you have around you in your personal life. But it is about some kind of foundation that you have. A commitment that you have with another person all right but you're busy right now at this point in time understanding what's going on in your life and creating boundaries around yourself um, so you could be establishing rules you could be setting your foot down like planting your your foot firmly in your own desires where you say no i don't want to do that that is not in my best interest that only is helpful for you, but destructive for me, right? This is boundaries here with the seven of wands, self-defense, self-advocacy, self-representation. So 
what that tells me, Pisces, is that something hasn't been fair for you. Or there is someone in your family or in your workplace that is encroaching into your own private space or into your own boundaries that, that are your own sanctuary that keeps you in a mentally stable place or in a physical state, a stable place. This is learning to create sanctuary around your own, um, around your own life in some way, whether that's at work, at home, out in the community in some way. Okay. Um, temperance. Yeah, that is a Sagittarius energy. Temperance is Sagittarius. Four of wands is, is, it's an action energy, right? Four of wands is an action energy. It's a commitment. It's passionate. It, it has a lot of passion. So now we have, this is all, and the seven of wands is passionate too. So that's what I mean. Pisces, you're moving in a passionate way currently to make changes in your life that bring in um, a new stability, new sanctuary, new, new, um, new softness, uh, new sanctuary. I'm going to say it's a sanctuary um, space in your life and you, and you're, you're creating rules and regulations and you're putting your foot down. You are making um, decisions in your own best interest instead of the best interest of someone else. You're deciding that instead of, um, instead of desiring for other people's lives to be better than your own, you're desiring to have your own life be better than someone else's. I mean, not necessarily in that way, but it's that energy. It's like, okay, am I making the, this decision so that life is going to be better for them, but it's going to hurt me? Or am I going to say to myself, what's better for you, myself? What's better for myself in this situation? Because the other people are not thinking about you, my friends. Like when you're in this energy here, when you're in the seven of wands, there is a, ne a necessity to make equal decisions, make interests in your own, make decisions in your own best interest because other people are not thinking the same way you are. If you have been generous in the past, if you have been overgiving in the past, you have realized before this current energy, you have realized back in the past that other people around you in some way or another are not thinking the same as you. They are not, they are not making the same decisions to better your life instead of theirs. They are taking what you're giving them and they are not giving back to you. That's what happens when we have the seven of wands. Ultimately, that's why we're in the seven of wands because we've realized that truth. And we are moving forward in a very passionate way and creating new rules in our lives to protect our energy, to protect our homes, to protect our hearts, to protect. We can't always live in love and light. We have to, well, we can, we can always live in love and light, but we need to be firm. We need to know where our boundaries are. We need to treat our own souls with love and light, as well as we treat others. We need to treat it to ourselves. It is not love and light when we don't allow ourselves to feel it. We must feel love and light from ourselves before we can healthy, in a healthy way, give to the people around us. That is what you're currently working on, Pisces. It's powerful too. So I know that you're taking action right now. This group of you are taking action in this, putting your feet down, placing your feet on the ground and making a line and saying, this line shall not be crossed. Okay. The guidance coming forward for the, for the future here is the Knight of Cups with the Two of Swords. So you're, you're seeing something. See, the Two of Swords here is clarity. Seeing something, seeing the truth of a situation so that you can find clarity in your mind so that you can see the truth. You're taking the blindfold off, right? You're, you are stepping out into the truth of the situation. No more are you living in an illusion of if you help this person, that they will treat you in the same way. I'm just using that example here because it's the easiest one. And I think for, for most of us, it's, it's the most common one. You're seeing how you've been moving forward in love here with the Knight of Cups, that you've been moving forward in love, but you're, but you're noticing here with the Two of Swords how, because we have the Knight of Swords here with the Two of Swords. <laughs> You're noticing that you've become clear 
on some kind of energy of love, either the energy of love that you've been walking in or the energy of love that other people have been walking in. The words that they say maybe aren't being validated by actions, right? What is love? How should it come forward? You're seeing the truth of how real love moves, how real love feels. You're seeing the truth of that with the Knight of Swords, right? And it's powerful and it's strong. And that's what I'm feeling here. So on one hand, we have passionate action in your current energy. And on the other hand, for guidance, we have continue forward in that way. Continue seeing the truth. Continue to be honest with yourself and with others. And continue moving forward in a passionate, strong, quick way, knowing that it could hurt others, knowing that it can cut a little, knowing that you might be saying very direct things, moving forward very directly, know that it could make other people angry. You could even be in an angry place, but anger is an emotion given to us by source energy. It's just not healthy to stay there very long, but it is very valuable when we're in it. Okay. It's not healthy to live in it and it's not healthy to stay in it, but it is a valuable tool for us to use. And we see you in this kind of an energy Pisces. It's powerful and it's strong. So I like it because you have clarity of mind now. You have expression, which is coming in here. Lots of expression with words while we have the Knight of Swords and we see you taking action. Powerful combination. Power combination. We also see love here. And so this is focused on love. How do you love yourself? How do you love others? How do you move forward in love in a way that um, doesn't, doesn't allow you, doesn't, doesn't create the opportunities for you to deplete yourself? or to damage your home, or to allow others into your own peace, how to bring peace into your life and how to sustain peace in your life, how to, how to protect some kind of commitment that you have, how to protect your home, your sanctuary, your peace. So we could have fire elements here and we could have water element and also a very strong air element, Pisces. All right, so moving into the future now, in the next seven to day, 10 days, or in the next wave of energy that you come into, because we are all moving at different speeds. We're all going through different kinds of experiences. Some are very deep. Some are long lasting. Some are deep that we've been in for a while. Others of us, these are more shallow experiences, not as hard to move through, not as difficult to move through, right? So we're all moving at different speeds. So I'm saying seven to 10 days because some of you like that, but please understand this depends on how quickly things are going for you, how quickly these waves of energies are hitting you or you're hitting them. That said, I have a hair here, just a second, let me get it off. That said, you move into the future here with the page of swords um, over the three of swords and the six of pentacles. So you have already the four of pentacles. So you have created here some stability for yourself as you move into the future. You have this stability, right? You have this stability here. You have something that you're working on, but what you're really wanting is more than that. You're not really wanting a relationship that is just so-so. You're not really wanting um, a, a bank account that only has enough money to get you through the month. You're not wanting just a moderate situation. You're wanting a better life for yourself. You're wanting a profound relationship, right? You're wanting a great friendship. You're wanting a healthy love. You're not wanting something that destructs itself and destroys itself and is obsessive, right? Um, you're, you're not wanting that. You are also looking, some of you are also looking for um, a more uh, a more balanced bank account or a balanced bank account, <laughs> Let's just talk about that, a balanced bank account where you can put money away in savings every month, where you can build up an emergency fund. So when those emergencies come in your life, you have a way of solving them. And lots of times money is a way of solving problems. It is a useful tool in the 3D, right? Reality is reality. Yes, we can use philosophy and yes, we can get up high in the brain and we can be thinking all of these things in 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 life and, and we can be up in the clouds, but we are living in the human world and having money, having stability, having excess of comforts is 
um, a right that we have as humans in some way or another. It is a right we have as humans. And you're wanting that for yourself. I can feel that. And you're taking action now to create a new balanced, equal experience in your life. All right. But as we move into the future, you do have the page of swords. So there's a situation here that's not quite resolved itself. As you move into the future, it is not quite resolved itself. You're watching it. You're waiting for more pain to come. It's like you're waiting for the next pain. You're waiting for the next hit. You're waiting for the next, next clobbering over the head. You know, that's what I'm feeling. Like you're waiting for it. You're watching for it. It's like you, you fought a battle and you feel like you're going to be ambushed but you don't know where you're going to be ambushed from. You don't know where it's going to hit. You don't know when it's going to hit. So this is talking about trauma or someone who has been codependent. Um, look up the word codependent and see if that fits for you, because for some of you, this is codependency. Um, and this can come from people who are empaths. It can come from people who have been in um, unhealthy relationships. It can, it can, it's, it can be something that is a, a symptom. It's not, it, it uh, Okay, you get it. If that's you, you get it. Um, so you're you're in this watching and waiting. This is a byproduct. This watching and waiting for the next for the next ambush is a byproduct of pain and trauma. Because when we have lived for a long period of time in hurtful situations, Pisces, we can become unbelieving of betterment. We can become deep within the subconscious, unbelieving, not believing that there can be a different way. Because for some of us, we need evidence. We need to see evidence that helps us believe, right? And so you're in this transitionary period where you're making rules. You're maybe you're not quite sure that they're going to be followed. You're maybe not quite sure that it's going to work, but you're doing it anyway. You're taking action. That's the first step. And that's powerful and beautiful. Now in the back of your mind, maybe even the ego or that fear center within you or that voice within you saying, it's never going to work. It's never, he's never going to listen to that. It's never going to work. Okay. In my life, when I've been in this energy, it always is helpful to have a plan B. All right. If this doesn't work, what's my next plan? What's my next step? If this doesn't work, it's always helpful. And also it is helpful to all to never bluff, to never fake it. When you're doing this boundaries, always create boundaries and you could be successful at, at enforcing, right? It's, it's it, so having a plan B being very careful with the boundaries that you set that's going to help this page of swords with the three of swords feeling, right? This page of swords with the three of swords is something I felt a lot in my life in the past. I, I know exactly what it means. It's, it's, you've done something, you've established a rule, you've established, you put your foot down and now you're looking around warily like, okay, now what's going to happen? Now what's going to happen? I have to be on my toes. I have to be ready to act. Okay. So you're in that kind of emotional space as you go into the future. The thing is, is that you know that you have something here that you can work with, right? You have the six of pentacles over the three of pentacles. So there's something here that you're working on that has got you going. There's something here that has put you into this passionate place, either a new job or a new business or something that you're working on here that could bring you stability in the future. Because Pisces, you have something you're fighting for now. You have done a lot of work to get to this place and there's something you're fighting for. We don't find freedom overnight. We don't find freedom even in a year. It is a, it is a length of time that we find freedom for most of us, Pisces. And I think this group is one of you, but there's something happening now. There is a, there is a very important time happening right now for you, Pisces, where you've reached a stage that you can start to enforce your rules in a different way. Okay. And you know that, and you can feel the power within you. So there's something here that you're working on, something that could bring you financial balance in your life. Um, an improved reality in your life. Six of Pentacles is a beautiful place to be. For me in general, and I think in this reading, the Six of Pentacles is an energy of, um, is an, is an energy of having enough money to pay all of your bills. Maybe not your long-term debt, you know, but paying your monthly bills, putting some money away in savings and having a little bit of money to go out and enjoy yourself just a little bit in the community or having a little of money to give to someone, to be generous with your money, to give back to the community, having a little bit to do that. Cause doesn't that feel good Pisces? It feels good to give, but we can't over give, which has probably happened in the past. We can't give when we have nothing. We have to give to ourselves first so they can build up in strength so that we can be much more powerful so that we can give more. 
right? And so we see you here with the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles, and you have the four of pentacles. So you're increasing in your stability, and it's really exciting. And I can see how you're in this passionate um, Sagittarius energy. It's beautiful and you need to be there and you need to have this truth and you need to be speaking your truth. This is your guidance to continue to speak your truth, to continue to continue to move forward with strength, with intellect, with expression, but to also move forward in love. Because when we move forward in a cruel way, if we move forward in a destructive way, it will not bring us to freedom. So you're moving forward in a powerful way, but you're not creating destruction. You're just creating boundaries. And sometimes when we create boundaries, the people on the other side of the boundary do not like that. They have been getting something. They have been using something. They have been benefiting from your sanctuary, from your giving. Um, and they're not going to like to have that taken away from them, right? So it's going to be important for you to move, continue moving forward in love, um, but in tough love or in love for yourself and living your truth. So there's a balance here in the Knight of Swords energy and the Knight of Cups energy to not lose your compassion, to not lose your sense of balance, right? To not move forward in cruelty or in destruction, but to move forward in establishing your boundaries in, in the, in the, in a way that doesn't create chaos in a way that doesn't create cruelty, but does in fact, establish boundaries for ourselves. It can be firm. It can be strong. But it does need, not need to be hateful and it does not need to be cruel. You know what I mean, Pisces. You and I, we, we can connect. You, those of you who have been with me for the long haul, you know we connect and I know that you know what I mean. So I'm not going to stay too long there. So there is something that you've grabbed hold of here that you're feeling very good about with the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles, something you're working on. All right. We see that continuing to move forward in a very beautiful way, because what we have here is the four of pentacles with the judgment energy. So there's some kind of new stability here for you. There's new stability here that this is um, a change. There's been some major consequence. You've changed your, because we have the death energy here. So um, we have <clears throat> you're in a transition. And again, the throat chakra is very active here. Words, words, talking, talking, planning, planning, thinking, thinking, doing this, doing that. You're in action. You have new stability. There are new major consequences that have come in here that have been very valuable for you and very helpful for you. Um, we have the moon energy, which is Pisces with death over the top. So this is a rebirth. So you're in the middle of a rebirthing process right now as we speak, Pisces. Right now, as we speak, rebirth happening right now. Like if I take a, a looking glass and look into your life here for this group of you, we will see you in action right now, transforming your life. And I think that not often do we see into a week or two of this. We can see it in a big picture, but we're seeing it happening now. Like this is the, the um, climax of a movie or it's like the big show. This is your big show right now, Pisces. It's beautiful. There is a major transformation here a major transformation and we end with the nine of pentacles. Oh my gosh. I just saw it. Nine of pentacles here. Woo. You are like something massive is happening right now. Pisces, something massive is happening right now for you. You are escaping. You are moving on. You are changing your life right now. And we end with the nine of pentacles, financial freedom, financial strength, choice, freedom of choice. <sighs> you could be moving into um, having your own business or moving into a place of financial stability, financial wealth. You could be learning how to express yourself and having your own independence. You could be moving out of codependency and working as a single energy, not as a group mentality, but as a single energy. You could really understand your own personal power now, who you are as an individual how you connect to the, to the divine, how can you connect to the world around you and how you can do what you need to do by yourself. This is an energy of self-reliance, self-empowerment, self-abundance. It is a power of self. It is one of the best energies of tarot, the nine of pentacles, happiness, success, well, I am Capricorn, moon, so I like the Nine of Pentacles a lot. Pisces, I think you do too. I have a beautiful Pisces friend, and 
Um, <clears throat> she likes the Nine of Pentacles as well. <clears throat> Not that you're all alike, but you can see <clears throat> and this is about expression. So you guys are busy talking. You could be busy writing. You could be drafting of a contract. You could be um, creating a business plan. Whatever you're doing, you're in the middle of, well, right now you're in the beginning of building your boundaries and setting new um, lines to protect yourself, lines in the sand. But in the future, you're going to be working on here, um, getting this transformation to actually take off. So you're, you, again, in the future here, in the next seven to 10 days or in the next month, or maybe even in the next two months, you're going to be actually by coming to the end of this process. If it's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful, Pisces. It's so beautiful. Let's look at this Six of Pentacles here really quick before we go. What's the Six of Pentacles energy? What's the Six of Pentacles energy? Eight of Wands. Again, a passionate um, new, new, um, new opportunities. You could have a new client. You could have a new project. You could be starting a new business. Whatever you're doing, you have created something to a certain extent. It's at the beginning process, but it's something you can touch, hold, feel, see, right? And now you're in the Eight of Wands energy. You're building it. You're growing it. You're making it more than what it was before. And you're in this very passionate, positive energy with the Eight of Wands. See how we have all this fiery energy here. We still have the intellect. Now that now we see the ego here, uh, learning how to transmute itself. Um, you're still using this old fear um, because you still have this pain of the past. You have this old fear. Remember, you're kind of looking around saying, okay, what's going to hit next? What's going to hit me next? What next? What bill is going to come in next that I, I don't can't plan on? Now the refrigerator broke and my car broke down. What's next? You know, it could be something like that. What's next? Uh, because you've had a history of pain here, but you're transforming. You have the death energy. That means that this, this looming feeling of pain, you're working your way out of that emotional space and that mental space. You're working your way out of that into a transformation here with the moon and the death, right? And then you have the nine of pentacles. Wow, I love the eight of wands. And having the eight of wands over the four of wands and over the temperance energy, the energy of compassion, patience, um, complexity, understanding, um, being balanced in that energy. And then you have the seven of wands. So you have four, seven, and eight. You're escalating in that energy. And then you have practicality here, Pisces, which is three, four, and six. I don't see a five of pentacles. Where is the five of pentacles? Have you omitted your risk? Have you figured out a way to reduce the risk of whatever this venture is? It looks like it. Because I don't see the five of pentacles. I don't see fear of finances here. Well, this could be fear of finances, the page of swords with the three of swords, but this is fear. Fear is not a fact. And we're talking about pentacles here. Fear is not a fact. It's an emotion. And we have three of pentacles, four of pentacles, six of pentacles. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're staying busy. You're on top of it. You're preempting it. You're not allowing for an old energy to filter in. There's a major change in your life here with the four of pentacles over the judgment energy. You have new stability now. You have a new life here with the judgment next to the death. This is because of your trust in your actions and in the actions and in the trusting of your spiritual team. This is because you have taken action in your life. You have made changes in your life. See, so you have a lot of practicality here with the pentacles. You have a lot of action and you have a lot of belief here with the moon and the death energy. This is merging yourself. This is the emperor energy. This is the empress and the emperor energy here. We have intellect and clarity. We have passion and movement. We have practical steps and creating financial um, security for yourself. And we have love. We have emotions here. Again, this is bringing you to a very powerful place in your life. And this is, I feel like it's a combination of the empress and the emperor energy. And this is freedom. This is freedom. So Pisces, I'm going to move to the extended reading now. I'm kind of breathless here. I'm going to dig deeper into some of these energies, and then we're going to take this situation and move it out into the future. And once I have the spread down for the future, I'll take the, the dowsing rods and look at what time frame each of the new future energies are going to, when each of the new fu future energies are going to come into place. So that's what I'm, I'm doing in the extended reading. For those of you that are happy with this reading, that makes me happy. 
Um, for those of you that are wanting to um, be involved in digging deeper into the energies, feel free to move to the extended. I'm happy if you do that as well. So um, however you wish to move forward here, I'm happy with that. I wish you all the best, Pi excuse me. I wish you all the best Pisces. I really do. I will see you in another week or two with another reading. Thank you very much, Pisces.